What you guys got another video here for you on creating your own custom manufacturer info on Windows 10. Now you can use this method on any version of Windows, but what we're going to do here is show you how to do it on Windows 10 and you can just replicate that on any version of Windows you'd like. Now what you can do here is take a look at the system information and add in some information of your own. This can be your company info. So right click on the start button and go to system inside here you'll start seeing some information being shown here but go to system info itself and you'll see a bunch of information that's been added into here let's take a closer look so we have the manufacturer name here you can add in whatever you like say brighter computers you've got the model number and uh, you've also got the phone number this will be for brighter computer support you can make this whatever you like you got your phone number here your support hours and also your website link which will be to your website for your company so you can put in all this information here and this is going to be useful for the customer who you've just built a PC for now you also notice here we do have an image which is an image file of our company uh, which we can add in here as well so you can add in your company logo in there you can see I've got one here and also on my link here you can add in your business page for your business and this will be useful when they want to contact you so it's quite useful for them uh, to find all your information and this will be the PCs that you're building uh, for customers on a regular basis so quite useful so the logo here will be stored inside system 32 you will need to create a business logo and then you just need to drop that into system 32 and link to it so let me just quickly show you how you can do all of this in the registry it's very simple and easy to do i'll try and leave all the information in the video description for you so you'll be able to add all this stuff in if you want to go ahead and do it yourself so let's close all this off and i'll show you quickly how we're going to go ahead and uh, edit it inside the registry here so go down to the registry by typing in reg edit this will open up the registry editor so we can make changes to the registry okay so we're going to need to navigate to this location you see on the screen right now which is h key local machine then we're going to go down to software then we need to go to microsoft so go to microsoft and then once we're there we need to go into windows so click on windows it's right away down the bottom here so go down to windows and once we select on, select on Windows, we can then go to a current version here and then click on current version right here. Open this up and then we can go to OEM information. Now, once we find OEM information, we can click on this and you will see I've already added those in there. They're on the right hand side here. So if you want to add these in, you can see there's an um, logo and this is the logo path here and this will take you to the logo path for my image that i created and that is in system 32 so let me just quickly show you here so you can see it where it's located so we're going to go into system 32 here inside here you will need to drop in your image and it has to be a bmp image and it needs to be of a certain size you can play around with this and find the size that you want to use for your um manufacturer info but just look for your actual file here and it should be located in the system 32 okay mine is just above here there we go and you can open this up and you can see here it's just a normal image you can open this up in paint and there it is there so once you've got that put into the location you would add in the path for that image you can see I've also got some manufacturer name here and you can call yours whatever you like okay and uh, model and you can call the model number or model whatever you want to call it this could be the model of the computer that you want to put in there and there's a bunch of other information you can add in like your phone number and your website details so you can add all of these in as single entries here now to add these in you just right click on blank space here and add these in inside the OEM information okay so just right click and go to new string value here you'll see it will just add a file and then just copy what I've put on the screen there and add those in just exactly how it is I'll just put something here just random so you can see and then double click on it and put in the name that you want to put in there and once you've done that you can click OK 
and you're pretty much good to go and it will enter all that information into uh, the system information okay so it's that simple now once you get this set up you'll be able to set up a notepad if you want and put all these into notepad and enter them all in in one foul swoop so you won't have to go through the whole process if you want to do this on a regular basis to all the machines that you have built I'll leave all the information in the video description so you can just copy and paste it into a notepad and then save this as a .reg file and uh, you will be able to just click on that and it'll enter all that information for you very quickly but you will need to change uh, the content inside there to the own content that you want to use for your system information it's pretty straightforward and easy to do so you just open up notepad and then obviously copy and paste all the information in like you see here and make your edits and then save this as all files .reg and the way you go you should be good to go from there and then double click on this and enter it into the registry editor it's that simple anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video hope this one's been useful to you my name is ben brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall see you again for another video tomorrow stay safe out there guys and i'll talk to you again real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.